block a little too early. Probably. Noted. But yeah, dang. Yeah, I know you've got to go to bed soon, so. Sorry, I wasn't able to finish a run. been here like long enough that I could have finished the run if I got it the first attempt. Hopefully. We will see. We will see. I might try to stay up all day. We will see. <laughs> Sleep schedule reset. Oh, what the hell? Why did I run to the right for no reason? I didn't even change my, like, D-pad inputs. I just, like, went to the right for, like, a fraction of a second. Oh, whatever. Yeah, I went to sleep at like... When I was streaming earlier, then I... Went to sleep at like 6pm. <laughs> Woke up, uh... Multiple times, but... Actually got up around 11-ish. So I don't know if I'm just gonna like... Force myself to be up all day, or if I will... <laughs> try to take a nap later on when I feel tired or not sure what to do I think ideally I should stay awake but like whenever I try to commit to that it's it's hard like I, when I tried yesterday but actually no yesterday was actually a very poor attempt because <laughs> I definitely just started like drinking a bunch of ciders so obviously that wouldn't help help me stay awake this time since um since I don't have a valid driver's license anymore, then uh, I need to. So I need like some kind of Ontario ID. So I need to go get um, the purple uh, service card, the photo ID. So I got to go to Service Ontario. Since it closes, I thought about trying to go there on Saturday, but then since it closes super early. I was looking it up and like, oh, Service Ontario is open from like 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Saturday. It's like, terrible. <laughs> By the time I woke up after having that long ass work day on Friday, and I slept 12 hours, and I, by the time I woke up because of that, then like, Service Ontario was closed by that point. Also, weekends would probably be super packed because like, the people that have like the standard 9 to 5 so will usually try and go on the weekend. <laughs> Can renew your driver's license and health card? Wait, you have to renew health cards now? Only because it's photo ID, so... Makes sense. Because the old health card was, like, supposed to be... Permanent for life, but then... And now that they've decided to have, like, the photo health cards, then, uh... Which also makes sense. Then, yeah, then we have to switch, switch it up. Man, getting that health card took so goddamn long. Also, since you get that through Service Ontario, I don't understand why I can't use that as an Ontario ID most of the time. I think that's stupid. Because, like, 
it. Sometimes you can for some stuff, and then sometimes you can't. I think that's so bullshit. So I have to like. I think it's just so they can get money for you to like get that stupid purple card, or to like encourage more people to get their driver's license as well. It's like even if I like renew my driver's license at this point, I'm like. Or <laughs> I guess it's beyond renewing. I'd have to like get one again. But. So yeah, I won't have a card to use anyway, so it's like, what's the point? Well, I guess for emergencies it would actually matter to get my license. And if not, then I'd just be a chauffeur for my family and never get to use the car. So, yeah, I'm not trying to wake up like 6 a.m. to like drive family members to work, to or from work. Because I know they would just like make me do it if I had my license. Instead of all them doing it themselves. As selfish as that, that sounds, but like, I don't know. I'm not trying to get no sleep or like have to come home early to like do shit. Shit like that. So that's why I'm currently against getting my license until, until I can move out. Or whichever comes first, move out or get my own car, either way. Even then there's so much other stuff I want to do, like help fix up the house. It's going to cost a lot of money. Wait, did I, um... Okay, yeah, 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 this is fine. <laughs> Sorry, I was forgetting if I attacked the, uh... If that was turn one or two, turn two in the fight. So yeah, time loss from... I guess two hammer times, mostly. Gotcha. I got two punches since I failed the Terrapin Manip again. Pretty much horseshit. It's for the money. Definitely. So yeah, thirty-five dollars to get the card, thirty-five dollars to renew it every five years. So it's like a small bit of extra cash flow for the people that gotta do it. So yo, Tim, does your landlord know about, um, know about you playing melee? <laughs> I 
my current landlord, I doubt it. Gotcha. If they're like questioning about, either questioning you about a CRT or like, why is this guy sneaking out on Sunday afternoons? Coming back being salty. <laughs> it's been repaired where people see the CRT. <laughs> yeah, that's a CRT for you. And I'm like, what is this ugly, big ass TV? Oh, the guy I'm trying to talk out of playing Zelda. I really play Samus mostly, so now I gotta talk about it that too. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Don't play Samus. <laughs> if you wanna play a character like that, play Peach. That's how I do it. The counter is super high end kitchen. <laughs> you have it in your kitchen too, that's so funny. Grinding by yourself while like cooking dinner. Oh no, not that shit again. Oh my god. We're um because of the chest being at the bottom of the bottom of its oscillation, when I jump off the flower, you're like you like collide with the, the chest on the side instead of underneath. Instead of bumping it from underneath. Ah, oh, I missed the canine jump. Oh, I got the jump, I missed the chest. Once you put it down, he was a pulp. Why, why in the kitchen? I guess life, life, uh, life just revolves around the kitchen at all times. This is how it is. Food, glorious food, glorious food. <laughs> if you ever seen Ice Age, I think it was the first one. That's all. So far, this is better than uh, the last Croco one fight. Afraid of damaging the wooden table? Don't throw it at Mel. Alright, cool. Okay, I also free beat it, so. Gotta keep that in mind. Double freebie. Seem like the best spot ultimately. Damn. So how big are we talking for this TV? Alright, this fight was alright. Was solid. One one bomb. Oh yeah, let me go check. If it's if it's smaller than a dick, then you can't use it. No, I'm just kidding. All right, breaking even. Oh yeah, that flower lily pad. And also, I guess losing losing a second for the extra freebie.
right. I was actually scared that I jumped too late there, but it worked. 27 inches. Man, can't even please a girl with that. Come on, man. <laughs> I was kidding. How are you going to use, like, quality melee to impress me? She might make her switch to ultimate. Very unsure of that, though. <laughs> you think it's 27, so do you actually, like, get, like, measuring tape and try to, like, go around the screen or something? Switch to ultimate, which is even a. <laughs> Alright, you got me. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Vaguely recalling. Gotcha. Alrighty. Oh, what? I didn't jump the second time. It's like running into a wall. Shit, what am I doing? I'm an idiot. I was like using the D-pad to try and advance text like I was in a battle. <laughs> Holy hell. That was brain dead. No! I was supposed to use the thing the next turn. Oh. Caro sewers. So Caro, like Japanese frogs, when they rid it. Get him. Yeah, I think I won't have enough FP to. Um, do this. Well, I did freebie twice, so I could maybe finesse it like that. I'll have to see. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna waste another turn. <laughs> I'm so bad at this game. Holy shit. Save the frames. I could have probably just used two handers instead of the honey syrup. My freebie so many that like look forward to using. Yeah, stupid mistakes on like the improv turn. Oh, jeez. Balom's fortress. <laughs> Yeah, Kero series. 
Or Karis, Karo Sewer. I care if it's a sewer or a sewer. I care if it's a burrow. Or not. See, I don't know what their fascination with frogs are. Like, Mallow's supposed to be a tadpole. And it's frog coins. Caro sewer. It's a healing item called Froggy Drink, which you don't buy in the new route anymore. And, um, it's Caro Caro Cola. Which you do use a few times. In the run. Frog Fuchsius, the old, the old wise frog. Remember, <laughs> friend of mine. <laughs> Elementary school, he like <laughs> called Frog Fuchsia's Frog Delicious. I'm like, come on, man. You're not even trying at that point. <laughs> Frog Delicious. <laughs> Holy shit. Looks like you can't read, can you? <laughs> For no reason. That sounds better. Instead of frog fishes. It's like how, like, I think, like, I don't think there's any kids in the history of the world that have like that are probably not Japanese that are not Japanese that have uh, pronounced like the Tatsumaki you know like the spinning kick that Ryu and Ken do in Street Fighter I don't think there's any kid non-Japanese kid in like the history of, history of time that I've ever pronounced that move correctly In the history of time. What are you saying? <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> you know what I mean, though. I've heard so many like different kinds of mispronunciations. I definitely like said it wrong. That's a good tip. Heard back back dukin. Heard cephalu kick. Heard. Oh, I forgot what the. The history of non-Japanese kids. <laughs> I forgot the one that Andy said. <laughs> oh my god. That one was pretty bad. Instead of Tatsumaki Senkuke. Also when people like teach other people the words, they always they pronounce the U at the end, like so Tatsumaki Tatsumaki Senku Kaku. They're saying like kick, but like it's just spelled weird because of like Japanese characters. Tsumaki Senpu, kick. Flexi flu kick. Must have heard. 
I also remember some of my friends thought that that move was so cheap because I like keep using it. <laughs> you can just like crouch under it, it's so insane. <laughs> like you can crouch under it, but you can like. I remember the CPUs would do it all the time, they just like be like a crouching heavy heavy punch. <laughs> like, like. It's like anti or like clean. Cause you can like crouch under it so the timing is free to like anterior with most characters. Or if they were like Ryu or Ken or Sagat, they would just like fucking DPU out of it. Oh man. Shit was funny. The CPU Sagat in the hardest difficulty is probably the most annoying. Most annoying opponent. Got another one of those like reading your input situation. So cheese difficulty. Well, then you can also like cheese it by baiting him into doing tiger uppercut if you. Stand at a certain distance and jump in place, then he'll try to anterior you, but you'll be like too far. Whereas, like, if you jump toward him, then it would have, like, would have worked. But if you jump in place, you can, like, bait him. Bait him into doing it, and then you just have a free combo. Or free hit. If you don't know how to do combos in that game, so they're kind of hard to execute, too. Alright, refill in water. Here we Okay, I grossly overestimated, or <laughs> I grossly underestimated how much time I had because uh, I need to refill the <laughs> fucking Brita filter. <laughs> and so I was like starting to refill it, and I'm like, oh my god, this feels like it's taking forever. I might get back too late here after I filled my cup. So I have to like go back up there, finish refilling it, and put it back in the fridge. Cause if any of my family members wake up soon, then I guarantee they'll like give me shit for not refilling it. So, but I also didn't want to end up just like waking up out of this bed and like would be jumping in place, like doing nothing and wasting time. Yeah, no. Alrighty. Oh, again with the... P I didn't fucking correct myself. Again. I was a little too down that time. <laughs> I actually tried to fix it too and I just like didn't fix it enough. <laughs> that time. I feel I should have been more paranoid about it. Oh well, that's how that goes sometimes.
Oh, that was close. I actually thought I was gonna miss. I hope I actually got, um, <laughs> that I actually got seven coins. I think I did. I think everything aside from dropping that wiggly jump was actually, like, really clean on the split. It's pretty sure I just, like, played well overall. Outside of dropping that first jump. But I didn't get into an encounter, so it wasn't as bad. I think I might have been able to go. Cool if I didn't mess that up. Oh god, I'm almost a minute behind my solo vests already. Well, pretty much like almost all that time is just from like bad bull fight. Because I used the honey syrup return early because I forgot that I need to wait an extra turn if uh, Mario gets put to sleep on turn 2. I completely forgot. So yeah, because that happened, I was supposed to. Yeah, but anyway, I'll be back again. You fill that room. Yeah, during my self-reflection, while I was refilling the Brita, I know where my portable charger is. I realized what I forgot. Because I had to bring uh, winter clothes for filming for work, but um, I forgot when I put it, put my winter jacket away in my gym bag, it was in that pocket. So. So I gotta go look in my gym bag after. I could've probably done it right now, but I underestimated how long the cutscene this cutscene is again. So like making sure not to kill the run by not coming back in time. Control the frames for the freebie. Not good. It's like Luigi means I can control their misfires. to play this shit risky. <laughs> Please 
Please hit Malo. Yes! I mean, it sucks that he's using this attack, but at least there's that. Which again, the risk now is that if he decides to put someone to sleep, then that's uh, one less extra tar target to reduce chances of Gino being the one to get put to sleep. No, you jerk. Yeah, suck my dick. So yeah, I should lose some time since I have two lightning orbs in this fight. Or not. <laughs> oh yeah? Yo, I need to see this picture. Oh my god, that's actually delicious. <laughs> I respect it. They're like smiling, you're like, no! Nah! I don't want it. You think I could just smile at the music? So this one? <laughs> no, okay. you didn't fake it. Man, I do that menu so slow. <laughs> I'm like so paranoid about making mistakes there. Because I've messed up in so many different ways. Only a small one, because I ain't happy. You gotta fake it like like girls sometimes. I don't mean they fake smiles, but... You know that, uh... When people say that they're faking it. Or when they admit that they faked it. <laughs> so emo. I'm emo. <laughs> so we got edgy Tim to me. So yeah, you know you know your uh, eye candy for a lot of Asian girls, eh? Whenever I show them pictures of you, or if they've like seen you in person already, then they'll like talk about how good looking you are. <laughs> it's probably the half white. This. <laughs> oh, I didn't make that up, actually. <laughs> I definitely heard it like at least like eight plus times. I'm a little scared about that enemy being- okay, never mind. <laughs> enemy like on screen like secretly behind me then. Oh yeah, definitely. 
Sabs being one of them. <laughs> I mean, I doubt she's like trying to sleep with you, but she thinks you're good looking. <laughs> Oh, the physical first turn? Let's get it. Let's hope that Mario doesn't get bombs turn two for the third time in a row. Uh oh. Alright, it didn't happen. But then, yeah, Jess, <laughs> when I was showing her pictures of Smashers at the like, party yesterday, she was saying that you, was, you were good looking. She also said that Hugs was not actually very good looking. I was like, damn. <laughs> so funny. Thinks of, she thinks the mod is perfect. <laughs> oh, like, true. She also thinks Pup, Pup is, like, average. Which made me laugh. There's a lot of people say that Pup is really hot. <laughs> Don't know if people are seeing the Hugs. I think Hugs is a good looking color. He's just short, but... And I guess he usually wins them with his personality anyway. He's... He exudes a lot of confidence and he's easy to talk to. Thought Plop would be above average. Oh, I got the flower box drop! Finally! And save time on Croco. Alright. This run might be like off life support. <laughs> Why are they always Asian and not black? <laughs> Poor tip. I just know way too many Asians, I guess. Because they make up like 92% of like this city. What the heck? I jumped at nothing just now. Oh, see, so yeah, I fucked that other bob -on. Fuck this bob -on too. Alright, I got it. Sick. The backup. It's proven reliable. I like it. Oh, it, it's, the second spawn was late enough that I didn't get touched and got all the coins. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> she also thinks that Ahmad's girlfriend is perfect as well. So I was like, alright. Yeah, they both definitely are good, are good looking people, so... <laughs> They're the perfect couple. <laughs> the perfect couple. They're gonna go to perfect Chinese at some point. And play perfect dark. Net play. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I should play the Game Boy Color perfect dark. Holy shit, that game. <laughs> All the best perfects. Sandstorm and this early. Fuck. So since it happened really early in the fight, then I think Mario's supposed to able juice until. I don't think I've ever had to do that. I think I ever get sandstorm like third turn or whatever. Oh shit, I have time that, that's bad. Alright, Mario's still living though. Is he gonna try to sandstorm again? He might. I'm not sure if that's slower than him, like, just doing an attack too. The text where it's like, monster, monster has no FP left, or whatever. Alright, he didn't do it. Yes, 
suck my dick punch, you know. If you didn't sandstorm, I think I could have been ahead by the head or behind by like point something second. One second, potentially, if I, if he didn't sense him. Bubble. Oh, well. Now I gotta try to not like throw the run from fucking clownsman again. But this time, if I mess it up because I got the flower box, I'll keep trying to do the run. Like I won't reset. I'm saying talk, talk this guy out of playing Zelda. Talk him into playing Peach? Nah, I'm gonna talk him into the right choice, which is Puff. No, okay. <laughs> At least a Peach versus Fox guy. I'm not good enough with Peach to do that. <laughs> the right choice is always Falco. Yeah, those days have passed. After Return of the Bird happened. I almost forgot to jump. I think barely made it to. Ooh, that was close! I jumped early, but still made it. <laughs> the right choice was always popular, right? Alright, sick. I hope no shenanigans. Alright, it didn't happen this time, right? It's like fell off for no reason, or crashed for no reason. Oh, I pressed A three times by mistake. Or whatever. It's out of twice. I'm just gonna call the guide the farming. The right choice is still always Falco. A puff. Is this the right writer choice?
don't know why the webcam just like turned off all of a sudden. But I'm back. Back like uh, West Falls was from the Mexican turn. Oh yeah, I didn't show her West Falls, I forgot. <laughs> She's a other favorite with the girls. Also because of his flashy play. The guy's just down smashes. Do the farming. Nair. No elaboration. Just Nair. <laughs> it just says like just Nair. Period. Oh fuck. Oh, there's like a bump in the back of my head and like Ah, I like scratched it by accident and like fuck it like burns. <laughs> I did it. Burns from scratching it, my mistake. Alright, starting to feel better. So many things I want to do in stream. I just want to like, <laughs> kind of want to play Pokemon, Pokemon Showdown, just cause it'd be such a disaster too. Wow, that was close. I was slow, but uh, it's like just enough to not get into an encounter. pretty long now. Oh, so you got the badass three going down again, eh? The main. Like a lion. Or is it a tiger main? Committed to keeping it this long till you're back at least? Nice. <laughs> Might be slightly shorter than the current length. Happy. No, I'm kidding. Looks like you're my only viewer, Tim. <laughs> Possibly. It's always funny.
Feels good to stretch. This time, hope I didn't jump on it too late this time. I'm very confident that I was early last last time when I threw the run. Nice. All right, I got it. Phew. And with the flower box, it's time. Just holding my breath for that one. I wasn't actually holding my breath, but it was definitely like, fuck, I better not drop this shit. <laughs> You're holding your breath. Thanks, Tim. Oh, that was a two-second gold. Oh, I guess because I didn't crash in the minecart, so I got a two-second gold. <laughs> it's like no crashes. All right, time to call your shots. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> ah, I was late. <laughs> oh my god, I got destroyed. <laughs> I'd be surprised if I actually hit like 10 feet. Oh my god! Not like this. <laughs> god fucking damn it. This one though, that's mine. Oh, this one's mine too. Alright, I think I might have gotten like 11. Could be wrong. Yeah, 11 again.
<laughs> the whole like middle point was such a disaster. <laughs> there was like just like mistakes everywhere, but it was like <laughs> it was like still all right, but there's mistakes just everywhere. It's kind of funny. So I feel like it's like a dramatic disaster. The end of getting like less than ten, so usually because like. It just like looks like a dramatic disaster the whole time. <laughs> I like that edge card. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> stealing to stealing your lines. The dramatic disaster thing. I think it just sounds really void. A <laughs> legendary throw for the fans. All right, so this this could be like this would be a convenient run for Butt to not like be a fucking asshole this time. Like the last run that got here, and the run before that. Or I guess two runs before that, not the run before. He did it for fun. Alright, that was pretty sexy. Little sniffets. Some sexy RNG. There's a reliable manip for bunt. Because I think Swinch came up with some kind of manip, but I think it's just like too slow to. If I recall correctly, I think they're saying it's too slow to be used. If we could just if we could manip bunt, that would be sweet. Oh, is this fight is so like I don't know, in both routes it's just dangerous. It's like, with the wake up pins, it's cool not getting put to sleep by lullabies, but then, just get like fucked by sandstorm. And then now with the fearless pins, it's like, you don't get fucked by sandstorm as hard, but. <laughs> Sometimes you get like triple lullabies, so. <laughs> Like never targeted Mario in that fight. Fuck, like I half time the block for Mario just now. We got an answer for everything. Yeah, it covers all options. You just gotta be high level. Yeah, since you don't get safety ring this early, or you can't ha get safety ring this early in the game, otherwise that would like. <laughs> I'd basically like save it. Ooh, a half time that. But it's Bowser, so it shouldn't matter, probably. But it could. Could matter. Shouldn't. But could. <laughs> Say he uses <laughs> Zelda versus the Mario Bros. <laughs> and he's like, fuck Luigi. <laughs> it's funny. That might work on that play though. Ooh. Oh, it missed Gino? Let's go! Yo! Bunt. Yo, Bunt might be playing nice. Hold up. Gino still at full health. This is a really good luck. Oh, another physical! All right, yo, this is the this is the this is the run. Oh shit! I have 
never seen the triple. I'm just good. Um, I think I should have attacked with Bowser instead. I think I might have just killed without having to watch Dino. I might be wrong though. But anyways, damn, that was a alright fight. It wasn't the god fight. It was good though. No, no lullabies at all. Nice. No, lo no lullabies. No blizzard. No diamond song at all. second gold yeah like if all those sandstorms were physicals then like so much bigger of a gold that could be I think it would be like another half minute so close to half minute Anyways, got like fairly good luck on that fight. It's a little pretty massive time sink there. Since the head the head did only physicals, so And that first sandstorm missing Gino as well. It's pretty big, so he just survived the whole fight. Because it did what, like sandstorm four times and the head did the physicals twice? I think that was it. Alright, have a good night. Thanks for watching. <laughs> it's definitely 3 a.m. for you, so I know you gotta go to work tomorrow morning. Oh damn, is this my first uh, sub 109 after Bunt? I think it might be. the shower too. I don't, I don't think I stink, but I, I think my hair just feels kind of greasy. But anyways, I guess when it hits like close to 9 o'clock a.m., then uh, 
I should head to service Ontario. Should I forget if it... Oh, fuck, I think it opens at 9 or is it 10? I have to look it up. If it opens at 9, then I'm going to try and leave at... It's going to take me like 20 to... range of 20 to 30 minutes to get there, so... I probably want to get there like right when it opens, so that... Try and like lessen the chance of like a lineup. That also means I won't get to eat somewhere because I think nothing will be open at that point. Because it's too goddamn early. Outside of, aside from Tim Hortons. <laughs> that movement was actually pretty, pretty bad. All right, not trying to encounter these blue bandits. Oh wow, I was so slow that I that he wasn't even in my path. Oh my god, the menu is going to be weird probably. Stupid by accident.
don't think it was very fast menuing, but it was accurate, at least. Very good. HP for the rest, right? And Mario and Gino swap accessories. I gotta remember that right now. that be the chunk. Mysterious bullshit happening there. That's cool. I was early. Oh, free beat on the first firebomb. Let's get it. Double? Oh my god. This is crazy. This always happens in practice, but not in runs. Not in good runs. Until now. Slow menu, I think. Oh, that fish is like completely out of the way. That's not like.
this to be the run that I like destroy. So I mean, there's be safe. All right, I got it. <laughs> All right, no chokes on that. Okay, Mario and Pete swap accessories. I don't remember to do that. The double. Yeah, that's actually a shame that that happened. Actually, maybe not. Three in a row, eh? It's pretty unlucky. 
got in a pretty slow fight as well. I hit all five shockers. Well, nice. I think we're still gonna lose time because it did like triple water blast. So. That is a shame. I was a little slow on choosing the menu menus a bit as well, but like Yeah, since he didn't use like flamestone at all, basically. It's like wasting so much time. His water blast is slow as hell. Like the first one he does is scripted, but then the other two in a row were not is this unlucky. Alright, so you remember to go to the shop. Talk to the old guy and go to the shop. the shell, these two weapons, sell all mushrooms, and uh, oops. <laughs> I'm like menuing so slow because I'm like so nervous. It's bad. And I have to not touch that thing, otherwise, that cloud, otherwise it would have killed the run, too. That was kind of scary. Too early. Do this to me. It's taking 90 years to load. The new notes. Alright, so I gotta pick me up. One freebie out of the four. So I think that's like the minimum requirement of freebies I needed right there. And ideally, I'd like to freebie as many ice bombs as I can. Maybe not like seven, probably be too many. But yeah, like five or something would be awesome. It was good enough there. It was like a little slow. But... <laughs> a little slow, but good enough.
might see my fate here. Uh-oh. <laughs> not, not how to run this pace, please. Please! Oh my god. Fuck off, dude. <laughs> god damn it. Fifth try. Alright. <laughs> the 50 50s. Fifth try. Oh. I, I, for, I always forget about that until it comes up. Oh man. Alright, so Fright Bomb. Wow, 200 flat, eh? Oh, I... Did I over jump? Yeah, I... I did two extra jumps for no reason. Whoops. Alright, but that's better than under... Oh, Alright, cool. Yeah, I mean, I wasted like... about a second and a half... Um, by doing two extra jumps. Because Gino hit the highest damage roll, so I needed to only do 57 super jumps, and I just like kept going for no reason. Kind of got in my own head there for a bit. That was. Got like too deep in thought, basically. Too deep in thought and was like sort of counting. Uh, but I felt like I was sitting too close to the TV. It was like one of the things. So what was the time loss there? Oh, the the fortune as well. So I wasted time doing two extra super jumps. Like a small amount of time and then fifth try fortune. Oh man. Alright, so I gotta be careful here. and Bowser. Curly gloves. I think that's correct. Nope. Yeah. So we're gonna like it.
choked. Fucking choked. God damn it. Minor time loss. Nice freebie. Oh, whoops. For some reason, I was thinking I was on the uh, other item. What you would call it? I thought I was on the rock candy, not the ice bump, when I looked at it. Yeah, you never know who's getting targeted, so like, I could have let Mario die. If I didn't block that, but... so much time compared to gold on that split. Oh yeah, I definitely wasted like I don't know, upwards of six seconds with the super jumps I think. Having a super jump. And there was a heavy amount of counter counter attacks too. In that fleet. Oh this is shitty. <laughs> I'm just being a bitch, I'm like <laughs> climbing the vines really slow to not like fall off. The fear was instilled. I'm not gonna save time if I play too safe like that though, so I just trust in my execution. But for me, a little nervous. I also like. Also, my hands are sweaty. Something like that. All right. So buy two mid mushrooms, maple syrup if I have enough points, maple juice and mega glove. So I have at least two picking up so already. But mega glove and attack scarf. I gotta make sure I don't forget this time. Good. Mario Gino swap armor, so Mario gets super suit. Gino Bowser swap accessories, you have Gino amulet, and you have speed booster to peach. I had exactly 30, damn. I could have bought the maple syrup, but I'm gonna grab the uh, flower jar instead. And yeah, I was slow on the menuing, so I was thinking about it too hard. Also, because I was reading wrong, so I was trying to buy the. Um, well, I was trying to buy the one able juice. I was like, forgetting, <laughs> forgetting which one it was on the menu. So I was like, trying to find it. So otherwise, I was gonna try and buy like energizer by accident or something, or whatever that item is that the text looks close enough to energizer. Not exactly sure if that is it.
looks like the audio is sort of missing for this area. Looking at my dazzle bars. Wait, maybe I should fuck around with it. But like, so game at the audio might actually sound gross potentially. Sometimes I see one ear just like completely like it's like no sound completely. All right, don't worry about it now. Just wait till I get to a long enough cutscene. Try to fuck with it. Okay, I still at least got past it, but I didn't get that clean movement like the last time. I just like had the perfect lineup. I think I was scared to get to, into an encounter with the one on the right, so I just like watched my movement entirely. But I didn't get an encounter at least, so it's okay. Oh shit. Got some low damage rolls on Mario there. Ooh, clean. Hear my family members being awake though, so hoping no distractions. We'll see. So I break focus on like super jump. Well, there won't be any super jumps for a while. But if I break focus on something tight, it could be bad. But 
Guess when's the next time they'll be super jumping? Boomer, I think. That's uh, quite a while from now. Towards the end of Bowser's Keep Part 2. Wow, that was so stupid. Oh, I didn't get the, uh, <laughs> the extra jump for no reason. Yeah, like a yump on him. So I have a firebomb versus Dodo. Especially since I didn't 3B any fright bombs anyway, so. Firebombs away. I'm competing against a gold on this split. slow but like it's not like water blast or can't think of what else you can do. That's water blast though. Wow rip alright rip the turn skip the tents. So I'm going to definitely lose time on the split because, yeah, Valentina is just being a jerk. Alright, there's a physical, that's good. And she's giving me like pretty much all the slow spells so far. Or mostly. Okay, double physical, that's good. All of a sudden it became a lot better. I'm still definitely losing time. Alright, I lied about losing time. Another gold. Like point seven. Okay, so another thing is Crap, I'm not sure if I ran out of firebombs, actually. <laughs> so, Axum Rangers might be dangerous if I don't freebie this rock candy. Because using the ice bomb. Ice bomb only strat. I might have, like, destroyed the run by accident. Instead of having the fire and ice strat. So I'm not sure how many firebombs I freebied. I think it was two. 
I think I thought it was three, and I think I only actually got two. So, so I don't think I have any left. So that might uh, might be a potential for either a big time loss on Axum Rangers if I don't freebie, or um, or it might just completely kill the run because that strat sucks on Axum Rangers. It's personally has been really inconsistent. And like usually works usually like works less usually fails more often than it like actually works from my experience. So that might have been a bad mistake. Which means I should have used either an ice bomb on Dodo, an ice bomb on Yarodovich, or did the bad mushroom strip on Yarodovich. I mean on a uh, Dodo. <laughs> I run, ran a pretty bad risk, but it's okay. I got it at least. Or at least I think I did. I think that was exactly enemies. I was hoping it would be stuck up top for a try run. Good, I got that stump it, the stump it skip as well. I think I got the eclipse right. All right, two ice bomb strip for once. Unlucky. Even worse. Yeah, 
time loss, especially because I have time the block on this physical. So yeah, there goes a potential time save for this fight. So why couldn't he just use flame wall and stuff? Stupid piece of shit. Slow attacks, baby. I need them. All these damage rolls are so low. Yes, keep beating me these slow attacks. I love it. I think that was a counter. Alright, that's a physical though. That's nice. Oh, that was so bad. My note was like, the notes were like, very barely cut off at the bottom of the page, so I couldn't read it. So I'd like, scroll down, and then my fucking cord... It's like tangled with my dazzle, sort of. It's also obstruct obstructed me from moving it. So anyway, sadly I think I have to do the ice bomb only strat. When I probably don't freebie. This rock candy. But hey, I might freebie. Let's see. Means that I have to hit X and Pink four, at least four times with the uh, at least four times with Ultra Jump. So that's like where the danger comes in. My probability it just seems unlikely to ever happen, and it has failed like a lot rather than succeeding. Which I think it worked the first time and has never worked since. If I've ever had to do it. This time it was my fault that I'm like put in this situation. Potentially. Unless if the luck gods bail me out. Yeah, I'm boned. That's exactly where my mistake came up. Okay, nice. I got her. Kind of want to hit red though. There you go. I hit red with the last. I got lucky. I took the max amount of ultra jumps, so I'm gonna still lose a lot of time, but at least the run's alive. Yeah, build up my luck. Kinda. Oh man, I'm gonna start losing time already. Yeah, 
bunch of dump in the smoke. Such my fault, man. That could have been just like a six second time loss, maybe. Instead of 23. And <laughs> rip 250. Rip 250 now. I threw away too much time. to go the wrong way. Oh, fuck. I went too far. No way. Extra ice bomb as well. So, so gun yoke will be at least two ice bombs in the strip. Ideally, a freebie enough rock candies to like do the three, three rock two ice strip or something. I think that's what it was. Or is it just two two? That ends up being. pretty clean so should be okay. Why are you playing in Japanese? What's up Matcho? Texas faster. It's in the uh, frequently asked questions or in, in the info section. It's, I forgot the amount of time that it takes. I think it was about nine minutes, some of that. Because uh, Japanese characters are like, the text is like less than uh, like English words. So you scroll through text faster. So there's some like RNG manipulations and stuff that are like for Japanese only because of like clearing text faster. Like the one I'm doing right now. Okay, so door number two. Right? It seems correct. It's not a good look.
everything in the spot so it tells you to do. I have notes on my computer. And, um, yeah, I had to try and like learn the uh, the text for the items. Oh, and the quiz coming up later. Oof, since that's in Japanese, I sometimes fail it, so I'm hoping that I don't choke it this time while I'm ahead, while I'm ahead of my PB. And yeah, there's a mobile app uh, for Android. Uh, kind of has like a multiple choice like quizzes and stuff. So you can like practice it. Alright, sick. I got it. <laughs> I forgot to actually practice this quiz on my phone <laughs> during the uh, cutscene of entering the castle. So, Alright, so that's 14 barrels. Just gotta remember it's 14. That is 45 barrels. <laughs> Try to double check. Yeah, 45. this a couple times so just gotta remember third place um, that was fourth place and first all right so I have to go to door five right Spaghetti. My hand slipped off the fucking deep head. My sweat. Alright, so I'm gonna lose like three seconds to grab this firebomb for the final boss. Ooh. Oh no. Alright, I'm just gonna <laughs> fuck the donkey skip. Ready, watch the movements over. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, door three. All right, so like, so avoiding the battle rooms because they're really slow, basically. So I manipulated the RNG when I saved and reset earlier in Nimbus Land, and then moved in a specific way to try and manipulate the RNG for the for the doors, so that. Get, uh, avoid the battle routes. And then, yeah, then they have a float, and then there's a flow chart where, depending on what result you get in which door, then you're supposed to, like, choose a, oh my god, choose a certain door. Yeah, of course, I fucking was off angle. I also grabbed the wrong chest. I wanted to get this one in case. I kind of don't want to, now that I missed. This becomes hard after. So I gotta remember to grab the Karo Karo Cola since I didn't freebie. Versus Yardovich. I don't think I freebie anyway. Do you need this Karo Karo Cola for the final boss? In phase 2. Skip this chest because it's a weapon for Mallow, and Mallow's not used the rest of the run. Alright, sick. So, we're gonna fight 
bomb, wherever it is. There it is. Freebie! Didn't really need that though. Ooh, I think I half timed that attack with Mario, but fortunately, it was enough to kill still. Alright, so when I get to the menu, I gotta go to the items menu so it auto sorts it, and then swap Mario and Bowser's armor. Put pearly gloves to Bowser and safety ring on Gina. Oh, that was bad. Still living though. Didn't get into an encounter with that bullet bow or anything. Okay, so Boomer. Gotta jump on him. Should do around 250 damage. Boost, untimed boost Mario. Defend with Bowser. Then do 47 super jumps. Oh, that's slow. I got it. Oh damn, PSO is having happy hours right now. It just got the email. Oh yeah, so I guess the Europeans are all up. Under 20 minutes only? Maybe it's been happening for about an hour. It's the European time. French French players on the server to play on from France. And one of the GMs, she's uh, from France as well. All right, not bad. The countdown, though, he just completely crushed the run. We'll see. I didn't pull up my notes actually for the factory. It seems to be loading very slow too. 
Because, yeah, since this fight, next fight can go a lot of different ways, then I might have to, like, check my notes in case of, uh, depending on what happens after the first, like, one or two, one or two turns. This dope-ass music. Okay. Whoops. I'm gonna take Sean Cast's advice and do top side instead of Fuck. <laughs> Run, please. Run, please. Run, please. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> I might have just killed the run by trying to oh, I'm standing like right on top of it too, that's annoying. Nice can escape like triple fail. Oh, that's some garbage, but whatever. So now I can't blame Countdown completely on a potential time safety. We'll see. Will he give me a good pattern for once, and will I, like, gain 50 seconds or not? <laughs> this might be bad. <laughs> Please hit Mario. Alright, nice. Oh, uh, Teemo. That's actually really good. Cool. I got semi lucky in this fight. I got semi lucky on this fight. <laughs> Come on. Okay, there you go. My god. <laughs> Max Ultra Jump. How'd you know? So not listening. Do as many ultra jumps if I get time is marching on. Okay. Fuck. Candy freebie, let's go. Put a rock candy drop. As many ultra jumps as I can to skip the time.
every goddamn time. Really? Well, not every time. This is twice in a row. Doesn't even happen that often. Have time that punch. No. Oh, <laughs> oh my turbo is not going. That's a shame.
two two or two one? I think it's two two because I got the rock candy drop from the Yardovich. Not a single freebie from the late game. Except that one. One freebie from the whole late game. Should be gold, right? Yeah. Gold! Never gets to do more than the two 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 strip like ever in Japanese. I've never gotten to do two two yet over the past like seven months or so, or about half a year, roughly. Now I don't even think I have enough like items for Smithy. Seventy-one super jumps. Open it for you. Damn it. <laughs> I prayed. Alright, I need one firebomb freebie at least for the gamble. If if Smithy transforms. So maybe I don't drop super jumps is like damn, been missing them in practice a little bit sometimes.
It's very low damage rolls. From like everybody except Peach, I think. Freebie, 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 freebie. Yes, the luck. The top hole, let's go. Two fifty two oh eight. So that run that run still sucked. And I fucking threw away the It actually threw away the two fifty one by um Ah oh, because I used my last firebomb on Dodo, so then I lost so much time on Axel Rangers having to do the ice bomb straight. I just Brain dead. Ah Look Look yeah, aside from that, there's like tons of things that I need to improve on. All this like free time saved in the early game now. So, I guess I'll talk about it as I used to usually. But I haven't PB'd since like March, so it's been a while, actually. I guess I've had finished runs where I like still talk about it a little. Just gotta make sure that the. Texas room. Anyway, um, so I got two punch, two punches from Terrapins because I missed the, I missed the first part of the minute, but I still got two punches, so that was good. Good anyway. Croco won, so one bomb fight I think. Missed the K9 jump. 
Bloom one, I think Mario got put to sleep. But I also messed up and used the um After Balloon spits out Mallow, I forgot that you gotta wait a turn. If Mario gets put to sleep, you gotta wait another turn before you use the Honey Syrup. So, because of that, it, the fight took an extra um, extra turn because of that. So that was bad. And then, yeah, you were spamming like Scrofunk like crazy as well. Wigglers, I dropped the very first Wiggler jump, but didn't get into an encounter. And I think everything else is clean in that in that split outside of that. Boyer, damn, we got like I think we got two lightning orbs, but uh, Mallow died pretty early, so that also saved some time. Not having to defend with him every turn. Croco two went really well, even without. An energizer freebie. I still save time. Compared to a fight that did have an energizer freebie. I think. Punchinello got Sandstorm again. So. Yeah. So no time save on that. And he did it really early in the fight. So it made it worse I think. Compared to him usually doing it on like last turn. Or second last turn. Pretty often. Uh, knife guy, great guy. Uh, everything went well. I like the 157 minecart. Um, got the clowns manip. So there's the time save there. Still haven't gotten sub 59 yet on that by that split. So I think my best was like 59 flat or 59 on something like that. So I think I like messed up half of the manip when I was gonna get like a. 58, like 40 something, or some shit. But I like messed up the last half of the minute, or something like that. I think after getting the freebie, that I missed it. Like, missed the text there on it. But whatever. So, yeah, Bunt did. So, yeah, Bunt's like the whole reason for the PV, I think. So, he did. His bottom part did Sandstorm every turn, and his uh, the top did physical every time. And the first sandstorm Miss Gino as well. So it was like a three turn candle phase still. So I got like a three second gold on that split I think. And then in Calamari, uh, I was slow on menuing. Because um kinda forgot some stuff. Because I got the flower box drop from Kraku. Johnny went fine. Good RNG with the fish, because it just like stayed at the bottom against the wall. And I didn't I didn't mess up anything. King Calamari, I freebie the first two fire bumps. It didn't freebie anymore until Well, until Smithy, actually. I didn't freebie anymore fire bumps. Then Yardovich went fine, but got triple water blasted though. They didn't miss time any shockers in that fight, actually. I find I miss them very often. I miss a couple very often in the fight. Like anywhere between like one and three in a fight, I usually I miss pretty often. So that was good. Um Bloom two, what went wrong there? Oh, I got like 5th try on the fortune thing. It's like a 50% chance. Like, you get one path or get the other path, and unfortunately it was like 5th try, so I wasted a lot of time. There's nothing I can do about that. So I think everything else went fine there. Got one ice bomb freebie from the ants. The last uh, ant, ant fight. Mega Smilax. I think I freebied another firebomb, or ice bomb, but also I half timed. Bowser's first attack, so that meant I had to super jump on that same Piranha Plant with Mario. So that wasted a bit of time and like everything like counter attack too, like in that fight. So I also like wasted a small amount of time per turn too. Like I think I think like literally everything that could counter attack did when I had the chance. 
the Alberto split, so I didn't like fucking get into the encounter and like fall off the vine. Which is all the time saved basically. Movement was like not good. Not good, but I didn't like get into encounters. Damn, I think this run, I think I got into three unintentional encounters. The whole run. So I missed the boy I missed the boyer skip again. Um beginning of the factory I fucking encountered that ectoplasm plasm or whatever that is. And um Yeah, was there any other accidental encounters encounters? Besides those? Damn, if I had a clean factory, I could have had like a no encounter run, I think. That's what. Unless if I'm forgetting something. Yeah, so yeah, Berto split was good. Valentina, oh, oh man, the fan, the fan, the fan jump and the forky, and skipping the forky right after was like the cleanest I'd ever done in my life. That includes like in practice, like that was just the cleanest. Like, I just like, insta got the fan jump, and then like the fork. As I was running to the fork, he like picked it up, and I just ran, ran straight in. Like I didn't have to hesitate or anything. So I think that saved a lot of time because I didn't stop in front of the forky for once. Because he actually like lifted his fork at the right turn. Yo, thanks, Sean. Appreciate it, man. How are you? And let's see what else. Yeah, Valentina, she did... She had two physicals at the very end, actually. But I think she did Crystal, then Water Blast, then... Crap, was it a second Water Blast? I forget. It was something slow. But... Going back to bed. Slept 1.5 hours last night. Oh... So you took a, took a day off work, eh? I feel that. I'm gonna be trying to force myself to stay awake all day so that I can um hopefully go to bed at like 11 p.m. or something. Okay, okay. What else happened here? Zara Dragon split was fun. Oh, I got into an encounter there. That was the third one. The um after the cork cork fight, then um one of the spinies like fell fell in front of the door and blocked it as I was heading there. I forgot that encounter happened. And it was like third try escape too. And then Yeah, Zar Dragon Oh, I half timed that counter on Bowser, so he got killed by the fucking red balls after. So I had to revive him with Gino. So that wasted a little time. And then I didn't use ultra jumps in that fight either, so I just punched him four times. And because I did the firebomb strat on Dodo, I forgot that that was my last firebomb, so I had to do the ice bomb only strat on the Axum Rangers, so all that time loss is there. Because I had to do like the max amount of ultra jumps to like. to get four on pink, and also to like. also because like the very last ultra jump like hit red. I got so lucky. And then... See, all the time loss was from there. It was from, like... Not doing the bad mushroom strat on... On Dodo, instead. Yeah, since I didn't freebie any Fright Bombs, I would have had to do the bad mushroom strat instead. And then... Magic Koopa split. I think I fell in the lava... Once? Yes. Yeah, that's like the only thing that went wrong, actually. And that's what. Uh, the quiz, I was a little slow on answering some of the questions, but I didn't make any mistakes. And then the, the fight was fine. Um. XR split. Went fine. No counter from Boomer. A <laughs> little bit of flubs in the thwomp room, though. 
gold. Oh, also shit, my summer vest is sub two two forty eight now. Nice. Just barely. And okay, what else? So XOR went fine. Countdown split. Um fuck, I went topside and I encountered the that ectoplasm thing. By accident. Like landed on landed on it. I think I got stuck on the wall and landed like right on top of it. And then also because it was like fourth try escape, so Bowser got hit by him too. I didn't even know what his physical attack looked like, so I didn't even block it. Or I didn't block it properly. And then so I had to waste the mid mushroom on Bowser so it's extra menu wing because of that. And then to not risk countdown. Then countdown did what Dark Star, then time is marching on, then he healed his face. And then Yeah, I guess we got hit by Aurora Flash after. I think that's the move. Bye, Jan. <laughs> Jan Suruji. And yeah, screw jumps were all fine. Uh, fine ish. A little slow. But no mistakes. Then yeah, missed the, uh, the fast platforming on the. Those two moving platforms before you see the first uh, machine made axiom. So, miss that jump. Then did the safer strat after. Got the wrong warp. Then missed the Boyer skip. I think I jumped like. I think I jumped like just barely too early, actually. So, it looked like, it looked like I almost went over it and landed on it. So, I think I actually just like jump like slightly early. Yeah, didn't encounter Axum's got a rock candy drop from machine made Yardovich, so that actually saved I think that free that that drop actually saved the run since I didn't freebie any rock candies. Up until didn't freebie any rock candies until the last one I used on Gunyo, actually. But I think that drop came in clutch. Twenty five percent maybe. And then, got the Endu Bubble, or whatever the hell it's called, from the Earthlink fight. So that attack was slow. We did it on Bowser again, which also, Bowser getting feared wastes more time. And I didn't have, like, I didn't want to, like, waste the spare rock candy for that. So that wasted a little more time. And then, yeah, fight went fine. I didn't drop super... Oh wow, I didn't drop super jumps at all, except for like on Smithy. At low key, I hit 33, but I also half timed. Because I half timed Peach's um, thing, and I was trying to do a few more uh, super jumps, but I just dropped it at exactly 33 anyway. And also, since I still had the Fright Bomb, then I was able to throw that with Gino. Or I could have also just threw the Bad Mushroom to make up for Peach's uh, lack of damage anyway. And then I double freebie the firebomb too. The second freebie wasted one second because I didn't even get to use it. So that that last freebie just ended up being a time loss, to be honest. Freebieing the Caracara Cola also wasted time since I didn't get to use it. And I got the, yeah, I got lucky on the Smithy Gamble because his head transformed, so. Got that too. Um, I didn't drop any frames during this run, so I'm gonna just like upload it straight from Twitch instead of uh, editing the local recording on like Sony Vegas or whatever. So at least that'll be easier for me. So I can just rip it from Twitch. So I dropped 430 frames earlier on in the stream, but that was before I started this run when I dropped those frames. And I still am at 430 drop frames. So anyways, um, I'm, oh damn, actually, okay, I'm just gonna check the time, 
uh, for when Service Ontario opens. If it opens at 9, I'm going to end stream and uh, shower and then get ready to go. If it opens at 10, because I can't remember if it's 9 or 10 that it opens. If it opens at 10, then I'm going to stream something for a little bit. I just remember that it's like the hours for Service Ontario is just really, really fucking inconvenient. So. Alright, it opens at 9, so yeah, you can get ready to go. Well, shower, then go. So with that, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Uh, thanks for popping in at the end. Shout out to Jamrun for watching <laughs> most of it as well. X to Char for the advice. Sean Cass, my uh, <laughs> sensei sensei. <laughs> Basically taught the person that I, taught the person that taught me. So, I like a senior sensei, super sensei, grand sensei. I don't even know how that works. Alright, alright, so, I'm a host, uh, Plup, so enjoy him playing uh, Mario Maker 2. On these ads, though. No. Um, and yeah, yeah, y'all enjoy the rest of your day. Sean, have a good rest as well, since uh, I assume you're going to bed very soon. So I hope you feel good soon. Also, it was a pleasure to see you last week, man. Great chilling. Alright, anyway, that's it for me. Peace. No. No.